two days haven't I you've had a very busy two days um, I, spring cleaning yeah and all the cupboards are tidy so what we're going to do is show you the capacity of the storage in the Swift Conqueror um, now bearing in mind we do live here so we have to cover every season um, which in the UK you really do have to cover every season but at the moment it's scorching isn't it it's really warm yes yeah. warm and dry down here and a bit humid. of rain last night but only a little bit. We were actually praying for rain, weren't we? Yeah. Because it is getting so Our pitches hot. are drying up, we're so uh, dry. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to show you what we've got in our cupboards. It wasn't something I was going to do, but as I've spent so long cl cleaning them out and tidying them, I thought I'd show them off to you. Um, it also gives you an idea of, you know, if you are planning on living in a van or doing what we're doing or even going to Spain, it gives you an idea of maybe where you can put stuff and, and how we store things. So, shall we go? Go on then. Okay, so we'll start with the front of the van. Now, Summer has took residence on the sofa, so I'm just going to spin you around a second. Now, if you watched the vlog before, we've already shown you our Swift Con Con Conqueror. Conqueror. That's the one. 645. Yeah, we've already shown you that, so here it is again. We have had a little change around, because I do like to change things around. So, um, I'm going to show you this bit. So, as you all know, this pulls out uh, into a table. I'm not going to show you that. So, this is a drawer. And we put all our knickknacks in here. Now, um, as I'm married to an ex-senior computer engineer, I do have a lot of wires and cables. Mark seems to have a fascination for for things like that, don't you? I do, yes. So we have baskets of wires and cables and goodness knows what, and I always get told off for moving them. They're all essential. No, they're not. They make a mess. Oh, look, now your fags fell off. And we have another little drawer here. Now, there's, these are really useful for putting all your... I've got all my touring guides, maps, and a trivia pursuit when the girls come down. And so that's really useful, those covers. So it's a pain trying to get in them. I don't know who organised that or designed that, but it is a bit stupid. Now, you've got little cubby holes up here where we tend to put knickknacks. I put in there all my loose change for when I need to use the dryer up at the laundry. And then just on this one here, we've got our keys. Our works keys. Yes, and there's rather a lot of them. So, Mark is going to kindly show us uh, what's under here. So, this is under uh, storage. Uh, so, oh, no, that's not right. Under sofa storage. Under sofa storage. Uh, which lifts up. Now, I've, what I've done here is packed all the clothes that we're not using at the moment, like old jumpers. And Mark's lovely Christmas jumper that he wears one day every year. And my laptop. Oh yeah, and the laptop. Um, now you can access this bit from outside, can't you? Yeah. And generally that has like barbecues and wellies and goodness knows what in it. They're not in there at the moment, as you can see. I've I've uh, overtaken that area with old clothes. Now, if you pop that down again, okay. If we go under here. We need to get on the floor for this bit <coughs> because this extends out from there so again you can access this from outside from the side uh, and i generally put my iron in there boxes and mark's cables go in there so and it's quite big so you get quite a bit in here now in this one as you can see summer's going to have summer jump off please off oh not happy thank you this is not actually under storage but we'll show you anyway that is, what is that? That's no. the water tank. That's where your water tank is. And isn't the battery under there as well, Mark? The battery's outside. It's in that compartment just there. And the electric hookup is just there. And this, you can unscrew and you can clean the, the tank out yourself. There's a bit of water in there, what needs to come out. Oh, I didn't know that. That's been left in there for a, a couple, about a month or so now. Okay, and I put sleeping bags down there. Not a good idea because no. when our leisure battery failed, that's the battery charger there and it yeah. overheats. It overheated and smelt like rotten eggs, didn't it? We hadn't got a clue what it was and then we Googled it and found out that's what happens when your leisure the battery fails. The battery failed. Okay, but we're not going to talk about that because that's time for another Now it's been resolved, I've got, a spare, I've got another leisure battery. Have you? Yes. Oh, right, okay. This is my 
my well this is mark's favorite cupboard it's the wine cabinet there's nothing in there yes exactly so it's not his favorite cupboard at the moment so we keep glasses in there i've got a trip log uh, this is our spanish trip log that we logged all our mileage petrol consumption in and we can refer to that uh when we go again at the end of the year and then the controls there which we've shown you previously yeah and the radio so in this cupboard, do you know when we open this, it's like the aeroplane stowage compartments, isn't it? Here I keep all our work stuff. So we've got our, um, our maps there, our time sheets, pens, sellotape, etc. So we try and remember where everything is. If we go over to the other side, this is where I keep bread, biscuits and cereal. Now the, the cupboard slopes right down. Um, and it goes quite a long way back so you do have to be careful there's no stray bread in there because it does get quite warm in that cupboard doesn't it? It does yeah. And uh, if you leave a loaf of bread in there it's not going to smell very nice. So coming across now here this is where I keep all my cups and my bowls and other Nick stuff. Nash. Yeah. <laughs> that if you were a cook you would use as I am not you know. Okay, so you remember we have the door now. We'll show you our new uh, design awning in a second. Um, if you want to open that cupboard. This cupboard we use for bits and pieces. Medicines and wires. I put the medicines in a basket there so they don't all roll around. And then, oh God, more wires, honestly. Um, and then if we go down here, we've got our little telly on the top. And I use this as a little shoe cupboard. Because a woman can never have enough shoes, although mostly they're yours, aren't they? In there? They are. Okay. I'm not a woman. Well, let's hope not. Okay, so we're moving further round. Um, if you want to open these. So these are really good because they're slide outs. And do you remember if you saw the vlog in Anne's caravan, she's got the German fens, hasn't she? Yeah. Absolutely fantastic the use that they use these for, isn't it? She's got mm. a pantry thing that slides out. So we put all our tins and bacon stuff that I don't use in there and then in here I've got a steamer and I've got a pressure cooker and if you look down the back there oh there's a oh look there's a baguette there I missed that <coughs> oh dear that's not good sandwich maker and a what's that thing called food processor, food processor as you yeah. can see I don't use it but it came with us anyway And if we open the under sink cupboard now, um, we've got all the knickknacks in there. But I usually put my tea and coffee in here because, again, you put one of these really handy slide out compartments there, so it's just easy to get to. And in there, we've got dog food and cleaning stuff, and dog biscuits, and goodness knows what. Okay, so you've got your microwave here, head level above your sink, and this is my. Um, Spice cupboard, though she doesn't cook, pasta, foil, got oil there, um, and I'm starting to save up the packet mixes for when we go to Spain because you just can't get anything over there. Like to heat and mix and chili mix, can you? No. So we're starting to save. And this is where we put all our plates and etc. and all our big utensils. Now these are Corella plates. Corella, yeah. Are they? Yeah. Corella, yeah. Um, and they are supposed to not break. Here, you've got your utensil drawer, which I've got rather a lot in because we do tend to have a lot of people around for barbecues. Um, so that comes in handy when you've got too much. Again, this is my sexy fridge. I've no idea what's in there because I didn't spring clean that. Um, and we have a freezer ram packed. Okay, so up here above your my sexy fridge is our pan cupboard and we also i don't think you can see that that is the aerial because we have a tv aerial on the roof that mark adjusts when we need to go up and obviously we bring it down when it travels um come on mark i need your assistance please now i've tidied that up we've got a wardrobe there which we put both our clothes in that we use uh, and wear regularly underneath there we put our works clothes and I don't know what that is. And then underneath that, you've got four drawers. Your I won't open those. Well, it's only your pants, it's fine. If you want to see my pants, here we go. 
there we see how neat they are look at that all white socks there we won't in, no we'll, and, and then obviously then we have other things in there as well which we're not going to show you because we don't want those all over the place do we um okay so in here is also a mirror but there is a cupboard as well but the captions have gone so unfortunately we have sellotape which is really bad but we will get those sorted out won't you mark yes right underneath the dressing table unit I put all my makeup and knickknacks, hair stuff, etc. And then under here, there is a, like a triangle cupboard, which won't open. And that's <laughs> just jam-packed with ironing and some work clothes and there's some bits and pieces there. You'll also notice that I have removed the carpets out of here because they were getting so dirty, weren't they, with the gravel. Yeah that we bought some rugs and it's so much easier to keep clean now with a dog and a lot more hygienic. So Mark, if you'd like to jump up onto the bed <laughs> and if we show you now the cupboards above the bed. Now that's Mark's cupboard where he puts all his t-shirts, jeans and trousers and this is my cupboard. Oh, I need some more clothes, Mark. That looks a bit empty, doesn't it? No. <laughs> and then we go along to Mark's cupboard. Well, actually, it's not your cupboard, is it? This is where I just keep all the stuff we very rarely wear. Now, we do remember we live in here, so um, we need to make sure we make good use of space. So I've put them in these hanger bags, um, and then we've got just Mark's sweatshirts and whatnot, and then there's a little bit of, of uh, room at the bottom. And then down here is just the towel cupboard it's a silly cupboard because you can't get right down to it and it goes so deep you can't reach to the back well i so we're going into the bathroom now um we've got a little bit of storage space up here um and then we have a little bit of storage there and a little bit of storage there there's plenty enough there it's perfectly adequate for us isn't it it is, yeah. Um, you've got your front locker at the front, haven't you? You can get with yeah. your acro roll. You may remember we have the table and chairs. We've got the little annex when um, anybody comes to visit us. Which, and then we've got our outside table kitchen area with our amazing halogen oven, which is the best thing ever, isn't it? Still going strong, yeah. Yeah, because we haven't got any gas at the moment. We're not going to buy any until we go to Spain now. And gas prices have gone up. Yeah, they are. Thirty-four they? pounds for a thirteen-kilogram propane. I only paid twenty-seven. I think it was when I left. So we won't be so, paying any. So we yet. use our halogen for it does everything: toasting, grilling, and cooking. Oven-y stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. So, regards the inflatable furniture, we did have a sofa. We did have a sofa, but the sofa's now gone. Which it didn't. It didn't stay up. It's basically leaking around the valve. So. Of time. And, and they yeah. don't inflate, which I apparently is quite unusual, but they don't seem to be inflating. Deflate. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a little Calagas fire, which my mother had, and we've bought some photos out, and Mark has his, his telly. Smart TV, got YouTube on there. So we sit out here, and do you know what? It's been really warm, hasn't it? Yeah. We are, it's been fab. And then we've got our little bookcase that we bought down from the cottage as well. So, all in all, I think it looks quite cosy. Obviously, we have this coat rack in here, which we have to have because we have so much uniform, it's unbelievable. But we have to cover every, every weather, don't we? We really? do, yeah. Um, so, there we go. So, there you have it. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed that little tour. I hope it's given you a little bit more of an insight as to how we store our stuff. And, um, you know, it, it's not too bad, is it, really? No. Um, when we go away to Spain, we have kindly asked um, and we can put some of this up at, at the campsite so we won't be taking it to Spain. The big awning is not coming over. No, we hopefully bought one off Arthur and Jean in Bristol. Hello there, when are you coming down? Um, and we're going to buy that off them because we're not dragging half of the stuff that we took with us this year, are we? No. But you learn. When you do it once, you learn what I you... I might say one mile per gallon because of that. Do you think? You never know. Let's wait. So, um, we're off to the pub, it's a lovely evening, um, we've got work tomorrow and the day after and then we're off to a wedding in Bristol. So, um, catch you again. Bye okay bye. then, bye bye. bye.